guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa and thank you so much for tuning in. Wow. On today's video, I'm going to talk about dating as a single man. Hey. You know what? I had to bring the bears because <laughs> Oh, hey guys, it's very bad. At least for me, I feel like nothing could have ever prepared me for the <laughs> for the drivelment and the amount of administration that goes into dating. I mean, dating alone, it's like it's a trap. And see, I go was on your butt. Hey, when you're single, mom, <laughs> you are in the pits. You are in the finals. I get some guitar to run, madam. Hey, it's bad. So I started dating when my daughter was nine months old. So I met this gent. My friend, one of my friends, hooked me up with this guy. It was cool, and I feel like honestly, with that guy, me, it didn't feel as much of a hassle. Uh, but the first thing that I did when me and him started talking about dating, it go well and doing. When we started talking about dating, I had to set boundaries because I felt like I needed him to understand that I'm not out here looking for a someone to play daily to my child. I'm looking for a partner for myself. Well, when I can make him too long, he's gonna come and feel like now he needs to fill the daily shoes when he doesn't want to and it's not his kid. You know, so the so the what? So I didn't want someone who's gonna come in and play daily role. You know, I wanted a partner for myself. I'm not looking for someone to play daily to my child. I need that. I needed that to be clear. And he didn't take it in a big way. Or I wouldn't come back and just somehow. It was just a matter of me putting boundaries in place so that the relationship works um, the way normal uh, like domestic relationships work when you guys don't have kids or have kids. I don't make that make sense. So I put that boundary in place to say, look, I don't expect you to be daily like financially chipping sorry financially chipping in or that type of thing but i need you to support me as your partner and you need to understand that my child plays a very big role in my life considering that i live with her full time so she's always with me so if we're going out and like you want us to go all adulting you need to tell me in advance because you can't just pop up and be like let's go because i need someone who's gonna help me because i don't have a helper but i have friends and family who are always willing to step up and help me when i need it so i try to not like constantly tell them to chip in for logic you look if you look at it important so with that first look everything was okay and was fine and i think that he set the bar real high that gent showed up and he supported me as his partner and never made me feel like i had to choose between the relationship and being a mother i could easily do both and the only man i don't want to lie it was nice and he would sometimes chip in financially i don't know if it was because he was just being a nice boyfriend or he liked playing daily of which i told him not to do but in all honesty realistically is that if you're dating someone who's a child technically you are the parent you know because me if i'm with your baby daddy baby i'm your child mother nah. you know but that's just me i'm not saying it's like the rule but that's just me why you keep running in and out i'm trying to film girl oh no yes so putting boundaries in place was like very important and i think the one thing that i worry about a lot as a mom is that do you want to bring this person around your child or not but then i thought to myself that i live with my child today and my child is like two years old so if i'm gonna do it i don't want to bring them around my child that means i don't even think those people are safe enough for me because if i can be around dangerous people what does that say about me so for me the, making the choice yeah, do i want to bring my partner to my child do we get to know each other or do we have a relationship i think for me it was that thing yeah it's by default or, or let me say let's see the flow if it flows it's fine if it doesn't flow it's still fine like like i said i'm not looking for a daddy for my child i'm looking for a partner for myself and my partner needs to understand that i am a mother as well so that means sometimes okay, the focus will be on the other side so i didn't really think about it a lot i don't want him around my child because i live with my child i can't always get help on that so i got cash for that so they had a relationship it was good and my daughter was really really young and 
which means it's that relationship ended and then after a couple of months i think like three or four months i got into another one and this time with someone who had a child and i thought it would be a, a, a lot easier but it wasn't easy, it was just a different experience from the one that I had with my first boyfriend after having a baby. And comparing those two relationships, I really think that I prefer my first experience where someone understands that they support me as their partner and they don't see my child as like a distraction. I know that raising kids can be like a lot of work and they cock block you all the flippant time. No, and right now it's terrible too, guys. I don't know who they, how is my big or manage cause Ooh. Okay, yeah. Malova, but Malova, my man, I don't remember where I took more. So, we are buying groceries and charities. Okay, I'll clean herself from the ground. I'm at the club, my first male. She started crying and screaming. I, I could feel the range like I don't know if you guys understand this or if you guys have kids who have been through terrible tools or are going through terrible tools that is the most interesting time in parenting for me so far like she threw herself more fast I missed the people in the mall Miguel is throwing herself down there crying and I was in my new bay imagine new bay already over and turned Trump and I just walked away and he picked her up and then he hugged her and then he held her affirmation or whatever chat that they had and she stood up and then they worked together okay. so trying to date as a mom for me has been hard because oh, and they go away too. I don't have enough time for my partner um, I worry about like I didn't want to cover these dating issues okay my child is very personally she easily gets attached to people but she can easily detach like a mother again I'm asking no puma puma it's like how do I explain it I think you guys get it like we a grown one right now she's standing by the window alone but she's crying why are you crying you don't know so when I'm dating I worry about her having a relationship with that person and what kind of relationship she will have but I think But I think the biggest thing for me is always setting boundaries and letting my partner understand that I am not out here trying to replace her biological oh sorry, her biological father. You know, I'm not here trying to do that. I want a partner for myself. I want to have fun as a 25-year-old with girl, enjoy what other kids are enjoying. I'm not out here trying to find to play happy families at my child's expense, you understand? So I so I, I dating guys please share tips or you, like teach me how to date as a young parent because hey it has me here enjoy you know it's really hard and then comes the terrible tools guys i don't even want to get into that topic because i'm just gonna cry half of the time i'm sitting in the nutty corner myself like the nutty corner is supposed to be for her but i find myself chilling in her nutty corner and thinking to myself Am I doing a good job? Did I react appropriately? Because there are a lot of tantrums that come by. There's a lot of screaming matches. There's a lot of why and a lot of sorry and a lot of I don't want to do that. Like she, I understand that she's trying. She's developing a personality and she gets frustrated from not being able to communicate what she feels and what she wants. But at the same time, I feel like crying and screaming and throwing yourself on the floor is not a form of communication in my opinion. Like it's not an effective form of communication. Obviously it tells me that you're upset, but why do you on the floor? So terrible to have me by the nipples, but I am soldiering on one day at a time. I'm always on Google asking my, uh, asking how to not lose your temper as a mom to a two-year-old. And all those articles say, you, can, you, you can't control, you're gonna lose your temper sometimes because wow. You know, I really try so much not to spank her I want to do the whole let's talk, I'm um, the Konam, reward system, but sometimes, sometimes, oh, you see now she's chilling here looking like a decent human being, no crying, guys, <laughs> if today she blows the center, I'm going to try and film it so that you guys can see 
the things that I go through, you know. So I was joking with my sister, I think, at the beginning of lockdown, that look, I need alcohol because I can't cope so but I need to get a little tipsy so that I can balance. But I'm not an alcoholic, that's not what I'm saying, and I'm not saying I want to be drunk to be away from my child, but I'm saying that sometimes I need that thing, stamina, something to hold me down, because guys, it's bad. In my personal opinion and advice, if guys don't have kids, do not do it. Sky dira. Bana, sky dira, my child. But look, my darling. Okay, I go wish. <laughs> you guys don't understand. Like, I'm laughing now, ne? but it's hard. Don't do it if you do. Like, guys, if you have a choice, don't do it. If you're already pregnant, yeah, welcome to Go Club. If you're trying, if you're trying, I have no words for you, but good luck. Yo! Guys, thank you so much for listening to my rant. I just felt like I needed to get all this information out of my system so that I can be back to my happy and jumpy self. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do share with us, guys, who went as a young parent, how you're handling it. And also, guys, this is my man, routine. Teach us your ways. And if you're older and you have an older child, you've passed. The terrible two stages please teachers and also guys give us the recipe from john as a young parent give us the recipe or the prayer even whatever that you have the memorandum at least to see what okay john was at my solo so as a parent because i'm having a bear bear i will stop because to have someone you can talk to besides your mom, besides your sister, besides your friend. Someone you can sit on the chest, on the spoon. On the spoon. Like, so you guys do share your comments. And I hope that you subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the like button, comment, and share this video with other moms. So that they can teach us their ways of parenting and dealing with travel tools. I will see you guys in my next upload. Mwah.